give. We need to look at precious metals. We can't lose. All right, we've had one time. Okay, when I bought in the silver, I lucked out. That's no fucking bucks. You know, I got a hundred thousand ounces right now. That's seventeen ninety-five ounces. Okay, all right. I have twenty-five thousand ounces of palladium. I bought it one hundred sixty-seven ounces. It's four fifty. I don't care what happened to palladium. Palladium, you know what palladium is? Okay, you can't have white gold without palladium. It is the composite component with yellow gold that makes white gold. Now, that's not white. Now, now platinum is up at 1500 bucks an ounce from like 800 7900 But palladium went in, at one point when they got realized there was a in the shortest of platinum from $169 an ounce to $2,000 an ounce in four months. Wow. And let me tell you what smart people did. I just was, just was. The smart people said, this is not going to last. So they did something else. They took all the profit, which was a lot. Even for someone with 10 ounces is good. To me, the dime, dollar, as long as you get profit. What they did is they went and they turned right around and shorted it. You know what short means, Jay? Short is making a bet that it's going to drop off. And so you actually sell it before you buy it. Because what happens is you sell it, let's say it's $1,800. You don't even have to put the money up. You just have to have the credit or you're working out with account or something like that. And you bet that this $2,000 an ounce is going to go to 200 and you buy 100,000 ounces, then you sell it for 200. But if you made $1,800 an ounce, it's called short selling. There was a moratorium on it for a while because the market now is back. Everything's fine. It's very legal. So you can look up short sale, all right? Silver within, uh, I'll send you some stuff you can look at. All the silver report. Like I say, I want nothing from you this year. I'm going to send you some stuff and we'll wait till you're not tired and you're on your internet and I'll take you to, there's three major states. One is Kitco. The other one is uh, Bullion Desk, the Bullion Desk. In Monix, I don't deal with anymore because they cut me for about a million. And they did a lot. They got a lot of suits going on. Although they're the oldest and the richest uh, uh, trader, I moved to Forex. And then I shared for some dark money. And I was involved in that. There's, it's what they call a exchange traded fund ETF. Before, because of gold and silver was so rare and platinum and palladium, you could only buy it through a builder. You can exchange it. Not on the floor. Not like stock. Well, gold in 2004 became an ETF. And I worked diligently, believe me, 20 hours a day, two years. In um, uh, April 28, 2006, we got silver ETF. Now that's a big deal. Well, at that point, silver went from like nine bucks up to 18, 19 bucks. And then people saw this humongous rise in the funds. When I say a fund, I'm talking like a 401k, you know, a fund it has billions of dollars to look out for you, like whoever's managing your 401k. But that's what took that profit I get. Nobody expected it, except I was watching the curve. I was looking at the gap. And it's there for you. You just gotta do it. That's my nickname in the world. 
Silver Street. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I learned. And you know, I learned. I don't fuck around. I learned. And so, I wrote all the way to 20 hours. My career showed me. I looked at the dates, up and down, the red and the gold and the blue and the yellows, the little zigglies. And I stretched them out so I wouldn't miss an hour. And when it hit $20.01, I sold everything. Everything. Yeah, like that. Just to me, you know, this is where I should have been 20 years ago. I've been buffeted by now, I like that. But, and then I said, well, I said, well, let's go down. It's like having a good piece of ass. We did. And I shorted it down. I waited. I knew it was going. I put my, see, yeah, what they call a trigger. So I put my trigger in to short it in 1905, all right, uh, which would give me the, the difference where I didn't go a whole dollar. Because you got to pay commission on the sale. You don't have to pay commission on the buy. You buy forever, you don't have to pay sale. You just start moving. Well, in the United States, we have a wonderful thing going. We don't have to get into tax situations because they can't tax money. So you take your profits, which is excess equity, reinvest or put it right back in the market, and then you pull it out and go and do like we did down in Palm Springs. We got a two hundred fifty thousand dollar place to park a trailer. We call it the trailer. There were trailers in those old days. The volatility is diminished because we've had through this crisis very stable times in the precious metals. Gold is hanging up to gold. It's going to go to 2,000 an ounce. It's been flipping around. It's up like 12 to 15. It was 501 when I bought it. I bought 20,000 ounces. It's 501. I can't moan. So I, I can show you the title. Now, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Terry's involved. Why? I needed a proxy. Okay, someone had to be there or they take it away from me. Anyway, they would have. I would never got past the start. So I, I did pay off my restitution. I'll tell you, they have to. Okay, I did those things. And, and, and it was my way, I thought at that time, of trampling. Not necessarily going back to the, the marital bed. Coming home, coming out of the cold. But the thing I'm trying to tell you is that putting and leaving your money in paper, stocks, you look at it down. Up 900 points. Well, it was down fucking 1800 for seven months. You think you made something back? You made something? No. You made 50% of what you lost plus your commission. You know, nobody's making money. There are a few out there that, you know, new, new openers and uh, uh, Mike Kramer. Mad money. I know him very well. Okay, I know him very well. Not that I read his voice. I've sat and drank way too much for Ari Strong to wine. Thank you. <laughs> so that the uh, polo lounge is very well. So Kramer Smart. Follow him and in paper. And he once in a while will go look at silver or gold, platinum, gravy. Mining. There's a special in this guy, and he based his success in the Bible. His name is Jason Cromwell. He's already convinced 15 governors, including Schwarzenegger, to make state payroll silver. It's an honest wage for an honest day's work. 
Because if you have $100 that you've earned and they give it to you, for example, you and I go into store back there, all right, and it's a store that caters both men and women. You see a beautiful dress that you want for $500, yeah, and you go, I see that dress right there. That's mine right there. Don't give it away. Here we go. I'm going to get it. I want it. You don't get change. Right? I do one of the ounce of gold that I spent five hundred dollars with. They would give me seven hundred dollars change. Now you get it? I never buy any more gold retail by the way. I've partnered with a retail with a person who sells real gold, assayable gold. Okay. That with the plus spot. You see these coin people on TV all the time? Yeah. Selling gold here, going, Jesus Christ, I go like, they're selling buffaloes for, uh, you know, the gold buffalo ounce for 40, well then, 16, 1800. Right now they're selling them for 2000. Well, they're asking because people are stupid. They put them in the little case. We call them MS64, MS66, right? I, uh, I don't care what you say. I've learned. I'm not like that anymore. My 23 cents of, uh, uh, an hour became very valuable to me. Okay? Very valuable. Because there were people who weren't making 23 cents an hour. And I was. So, if you're going to give me a one silver coin that you, that you got for a buck and you, you want to give it to me and I know it's silver you're not giving me a dollar you're giving me 12 to 17 bucks I'll take it any time so what I want you to do over the next few months nothing drastic is there's going to be some changes and I'll send you the Hommel report oh Jason figured that see silver used to be the money of the land you get paid in silver uh, no matter who you do. And if you were up there, like in the echelon, high echelons, if there were only one, right, you'd get your gold. Of course, they were bartering, they went like they are today. Uh, the stability of the country wasn't based on that. The stability of the country now is based on that. For how much gold we have for not. But believe me, what they did is when they ran out, they created something called futures. They say in the future, if you buy futures, they use silver, the goal is going to be worth a fixed amount of dollars. That's the only way they could justify having such a large debt. So, I'm going to send you that stuff, and I'll send you this stuff, and I will send you an affidavit. Alright? And I'm telling you, eyeball, eyeball.